Hey guys, Chris with Phantom Buster here. And in this video, we're gonna look at the LinkedIn search to profile data flow available on phantombuster.com, which will help us extract LinkedIn users from a search and scrape all the available data on their profile and company pages, including emails. All right, let's get started. All right, to get started using this flow, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I'm gonna to go to the left-hand margin and sort by LinkedIn. Next, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the LinkedIn search to profile data flow. And if you click on the title, you'll be taken to the Phantom, in this case flow, overview page. Here you'll get an overview of exactly how this flow works and how to integrate it into your LinkedIn lead generation strategy. If you click on the tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step summary of exactly how to set this flow up. All right, so I'm gonna click on use this flow. Now you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So as long as you're logged into LinkedIn, just click connect to LinkedIn, then click save. So here's where you tell the flow which searches to scrape. You have a number of options here. You can use the URL of a single LinkedIn search, or you can use the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of LinkedIn search URLs. Just make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly available. I've already gone to LinkedIn and done a search for VP of sales that are my second connections in the San Francisco Bay Area that speak English. And so I'm gonna to go to the top where the URL is, select all, right click and choose copy, and then head back over to my Phantom and in the input section, I'm gonna right click and choose paste, then click save. Now here's where you select the behavior of your flow. Now keep in mind this Phantom will process 10 profiles per launch. Don't forget to schedule repeated launches so that the Phantom will process the next 10 profiles from your search each time it launches. You should always space your launches out throughout the day during office hours where possible. Now keep in mind, there's a limit to how much you can automate on LinkedIn. We recommend you process a maximum of 80 profiles per day or 150 profiles if you have a Sales Navigator account. If you bypass this by too much, you'll just have to update your session cookie more often. Now, you can also rename the result.csv file that gets output. If you're using a spreadsheet as the input and you want to keep some of those fields in your result file, you can tell the flow which fields you want to keep in the output. But for now, everything looks good here, so I'll go ahead and click Save. Now here's where you choose your email discovery service. Each Phantom Buster plan includes monthly email discovery credits. So one credit corresponds to an attempt at finding a verified professional email address for a profile you've scraped. You have a couple options. You can use Drop Contact, Hunter, or Snove. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Phantom Buster and click Save. Now here's where you tell the flow how often you wanna launch. You have a couple options. You can choose manually, repeatedly, repeatedly advanced, every time another phantom finishes, or just once. If you choose repeatedly, you can use the drop down to tell the flow how often you want it to run. And you can even choose the option for launching only during working hours, nine to five, and you can even exclude weekends. But for now, I'm just gonna launch this manually. You can also choose your notification settings in case of an error, in case of success, and other advanced notification options. But for now, I'm just gonna choose none. Under the advanced settings, you can set up things like proxies or other critical advanced settings and folder management settings. But for now, everything looks good here, so I'm gonna close this and click on save. All right, so now my LinkedIn search to profile data flow is ready to launch. All I need to do now is click on launch. And depending on how many LinkedIn searches you're scraping, this may take some time. All right, so now my LinkedIn search to profile data flow has finished running. You can see that I've scraped 10 profiles and I found eight emails. If I wanna preview the result file, all I need to do is click on the result.csv preview icon. And this will give me a preview of all of the data that I've scraped from those 10 profiles. 
If I want to download this data, all I need to do is click on download CSV and choose where I want to save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was how to use the LinkedIn search to profile data flow. To get started using this flow, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.